as far as chiropractic, what would you say that that's something that you should, without even needing it, or without knowing that you need it, would you say that's something that you should look into, something you should research? Like, give me, give me like a, you know. So the best way I can explain it is this. You don't have to have a cavity to go see your dentist. You gotcha. just go for a periodical checkup. Mm, like that. It's like the same that. thing with chiropractic. Unlike dental, where you can, I mean, you can have replacement, you can pull your tooth, put something else in there. Mm. You can't take your spine out. And even if you do, the alternative is way worse mm. than just having like a crown put in or something yeah. like that. I mean, once you have to fuse things together or take something out, pull spaces in there, I mean, it changes mm. everything. So. I always encourage everybody to take care of your spine because you only have one and that's all you have for the rest of your life. I've seen things on So, with that said, you know, when I see patients, I'm like, you don't need to have anything to come in. Just mm. get assessed. If there's nothing wrong with you, it's nice to walk away knowing like, okay, I'll come back and see you in six months. Mm. That way, if you do have pain, we can correct it and then mm. you go back to six months from now, getting checked up again. No, that's, a, that's a, thank you. Appreciate that, that okay. answer, of course. So <laughs> now, for instance, like like you said, like you don't have to just go because you have an issue. I thought that I did. Like I thought I would have to go to my insurance company and say, "Hey, I need to see this type of doctor because of an issue." I didn't know I could actually go to you directly and say, mm -hmm. "Hi, can you check me out? You know, am I aligned in line or aligned? Right? Mm -hmm. Is that the term aligned?" Mm -hmm. People alignment. use that and I, I go with it. <laughs> you know, I'm by in alignment. I'm right. in, I might, you know. I'm trying to see you. No, it's all right. No, but the truth is, um, remember when I was started talking earlier, I was like, you know, chiropractors are still considered gatekeepers, just like internal medicine guys are. Mm -hmm. So, like, I mean, I have a cousin, an internist, works here in town. What is she? He yeah. works, it's an internal medicine doctor. So, so it's an internist? Yeah, so it's an internist. So, basically, wow, people come in. I have this condition. Anytime you're sick and you go to a doctor's office, you don't really know what you have. You know, right. the first guy that sees you, most of the time is an internal doctor. Like that's he's not the one that diagnoses. Yeah, he's a primary oh, care doctor. Oh, so that's another mm -hmm. term. Intern so he's the one that diagnoses your condition. If it's something, you can just prescribe something for. You, prescribe for it. But if it's something more than that, mm -hmm. then it refers you out to the right, like specialist. For instance, if you have a cardio, I mean, a cardiovascular problem, mm -hmm. like, like I might put you on this, but I still recommend you see this guy. Mm -hmm. So chiropractors are somewhat similar to that, meaning you can come to us first. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be referred to us. Right. You know, you can just come straight in. That's and the best. Because it saves time. We don't even know like when we should. Right. Come. You see what I'm saying? So I know we have to see doc first, majority mm -hmm. of the time. Yeah. That's how the average person does. They see doc first, then doc refers to you. Am I right? In most cases, because okay. like I said, most people have pain naturally. In the, I hate to use this word in the Western world. Mm -hmm what pill can you give me to fix it? That's mm -hmm. the first thought. And sometimes if you talk to the right doctors, for instance, I just had a patient in my office today that she falls asleep at the wheel, she has neck pain, she has migraine, she's wow. done trigger point injection, she's done, what else? She's done nerve ablation to the neck because Dang. like nothing is going, nothing is helping it. Mm. And the orthopedic doctor she was seeing was just like, you know, my recommendation, go see a chiropractor. So she came into my office, like, just looking for relief. Mm -hmm. And it's cases like that. Sometimes, yeah, you can be referred because you have a condition. Mm -hmm. But like I said, most of the time, you don't need to be referred. Mm -hmm. You can just walk in. And, I mean, she was referred by an MD, which was nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, I mean, we love patients like that because, I mean, at that point, they've given up on everything. It's like, nothing's worked. They come mm -hmm. in. I just love those patients more than any other patient <laughs> because they've tried everything, nothing works. Yeah. And then we do something here and it's yeah. like, you know, my head just my head yeah. went away. Yeah. What did you do? And I'm yeah. like, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I did everything. I'm like, but I'm like, honestly, I didn't do anything. All I know is like, this is what's going on. I just took this out. The, mm. Like, I took that out the way. Mm. You know, you have like your spine, literally, I mean, when we say spine moving, <laughs> your spine don't actually touch each other. They're, they've got a disc in between them that keeps them spaced out right but when it gets fixed in, it gets stuck yeah. in a position and gas there's two spurs like, to the spine what's that there's, there's two there's two there's like a so there's um let's say, i'm using my hand as an example so here's a bone on top here's a bone in between there's a disc in between mm -hmm. them that maintains a space like a rotator cup like in like knees in a sense within the knee we have um it's like Oh, I'm okay. just so amazed because there's like a <laughs> hole in the spine that holds all the nerves what? to go so, right 
yeah, I wish I had a spine with me. Next, if Next you ever time. bring me on, we I'll are bring bringing him on because yeah. this is so yeah. intriguing. So when you look at the spine, the brain set up as the brain comes down. I mean, the brain basically is extension of the brain is the spine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It comes straight down. So as it's going through that canal, it's like that. It has think about it as branches that comes out mm. at every single level. So there's seven bones in the neck. There's twelve oh. in the thoracic. There's five in the lumbar. So at every level, there's a branch that comes off and they all do different things yeah. they go to different organs they go to the skin they wow. go to so example i like to give people is like you know we've got a nerve that's actually very superficial have you ever seen a dog sit out the car with the head out when yeah. it's cold mm -hmm. and it just looks like their face is drooping <laughs> because that nerve got frozen to the point mm -hmm. where there's no control to, to the face anymore so the face is just wow. drooping you know wow. but once again control wow. that nerve again then everything goes back to normal yeah, so yeah. I'm using it as an example of how something as simple as a nerve can control facial expression. And once that's gone, there's nothing you can do about it. Like the faces droop and... Wow. So nerve would be like, let's just say like getting in front of the camera, right? Mm -hmm. Nerve. Would, would, how do you even fix your nerve before... Uh, am I asking this right? Like, I'm, <laughs> it's, it, you're, do y'all understand where I'm going with this in a sense? Well, like, I don't know. I feel like that's more of a mental thing. So... But nerve, like, you is it mental also as well as physical? I guess that's the question I have. Because I know of a nerve called the vagus nerve, and mm -hmm. it travels down, right? Like, that's like the... Totally different. <laughs> no, no, the vagus nerve is actually one, the most important nerve in your okay, body. Okay, because I learned that. I mean, you messed mess that up one up, you pretty much kind of like yeah. can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that one controls like, the heart and everything uh -huh, else, too. So that's uh -huh. why it's super important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but that's at the... When you think about nerves, you've got your peripheral nerve which is a nerve that goes into organs and stuff we're talking about is one that comes out the spinal cord but then you've got the main ones that's actually right above it. like i mean the opening to the skull is here it's actually sitting inside the skull it's super important that's why it's inside your skull mm. you know so the vagus is like there's 12 nerves the vagus is a that's 10 it. one and it's super important like it's one that controls pretty much every function of your body so mm. once you cut that one off that's it that's i've it. so i was like in like eighth grade or ninth maybe 10th, 11th, but we went to Stony Brook University and there was a bunch of like dead bodies, AKA cadavers or mm -hmm. whatever. And we were able to pick up the, the vagus nerve and detect, mm -hmm. like just know what it was. But I think what he was trying to say is like, you know, for instance, say I'm like nervous. What does that term come from? Like what nerves are working? Cause to, the nervous system. So I yeah. thought like nervous, like, like yeah. are my nerves going like bonkers? And I mean, like, again, don't quote me on this one, mm -hmm. but I'm going to, you know, we, you're very smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I mean, like, there's Who different things that causes, like, let's say, a response. Gotcha. You know, oh. you can have, like, a somato somatic so response where muscle happens, leads to muscle pain. You can have psychosomatic where what you're thinking affects uh -huh. your muscle yes. function. I think so that's what you, what it so is. So, a psychosomatic situation is where I'm mm -hmm. thinking something. Like, if I think I'm, if mm -hmm. I think I'm sick, if I believe I'm sick, I can physically actually become sick because. Oh my goodness! Oh, wait, 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 wait! When I was younger, I was watching Maury, and wait this little minute. this woman was like, "I'm pregnant." And she really like made herself mentally, physically pregnant. That like, is crazy. So, yo, you must have saw no, the episode. No, 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 no! Like, oh. what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's no, not no. like that. Not like that. But no, like that is so true. Like, what the? So okay, I mean, yeah, explain that a little more. I yeah. see that that explains why you're so Sometimes calm I see that in my office. You mm -hmm. know, where I see someone comes in with a psychosomatic pain, mm -hmm. and to be honest. I cannot help that person. They really do have physical pain. But no matter how much I try to deal with it physically, mm. it's not going to cure it. How do you prescribe that then? If, men if it's something mental, how do you Normally, deal with there's it? two ways. I'm like, okay. Normally, when I sit, when I sit, I'm done. I'm talking to them. I'm like, we've looked at everything. I know your condition is not a somato. You know, it's like we're talking about muscle pain because like, it's not muscle related. It's more psychological. So mm -hmm. there's two ways we can deal with this. I don't know what kind of person you are. <laughs> you know, you can meditate. You can either go see a psychiatrist <laughs> yeah. or psychologist. Just yeah. talk to someone. Right. Go yeah. see your pastor. Yes. Do it's meditation. Deep. Whatever mm -hmm. works for you to help with this psychological Correct. aspect of your pain. Mm -hmm. And once you start dealing with that aspect of it, you find that your somato, the symptoms, the somatic symptoms, start to gradually disappear. Because once you deal with that stuff mentally, mm -hmm. you know, everything else goes away. But in most cases, when I see that, I'm always recommending like, I said, like, I don't know what you believe in, but whatever you believe in, if you believe in church, you know, talk to your pastor, yeah. you know, trying to mm -hmm. talk things through. If it's this one, trying to talk, like, get to the root of what's causing Faith. your stress. Mm -hmm. Because that stress can manifest into the okay. physical so, so to, damage. To my knowledge, of course, 
Don't quote me on this one, right? We're not. Stress comes I'm from <laughs> worrying about things you can't control, right? Correct. Um, you said psycho what? What's it called? Psycho. So psychosomatic. 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 Mm-hmm. Psychosomatic. Yeah. Right. Um, if it's mental, so because you know I'm in the sea moss world, but I had to do my research about the sea moss. So Dr. Savior always talks about how the food affects your mood. I all think you should mm-hmm. stop saying you're in the sea moss work. I think you should start saying you're more in the holistic. Uh, holistic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I never looked at it like that. No, so because you're a different... you are literally mm. you're helping others. You're like a health provider. Yeah, that's it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So, yo, holistic, uh, holistic health provider. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Okay, so I ask that because, of course, like I said, mentally, what you think about expands majority mm-hmm. of the time, of course, right? Um, so even like how you said, Maury, the girl said she's pregnant. <laughs> Somehow she became pregnant. That's, that's weird as hell, but at the same time, weird. stuff like that happens. Like, yeah. I'm successful. Someone mm-hmm. could be the brokest person in, in, in the world. I'm successful. I'm the, next thing you know, a year and a half later, they got everything that they want, right? So... Um, would you say, because you're you know, in the holistic field, of mm-hmm. course, also, right? Food would be something you may prescribe or or say, like, listen, what are you doing? What does your diet look like? I mean, are you, mm, you know, good question. Like, that was what I was going to Like, remember when I was saying, like, we don't focus on pharmaceutical, mm-hmm. but we focus on, I mean, the biggest one we focus on is neurology. Yes, so neurological that's... conditions. But we also focus on nutrition. Mm-hmm. Because because when I think about it, going to school, the three things, like when we talk about disease, mm-hmm. we don't look at the word disease as like disease. Because I mean, like disease, it's, it's got its own definition. Mm-hmm. But we look at it as like dis, ease. Like right. I'm not ease. Did you study What's, Latin? No, I didn't. I wish I did. Because it would like made my have, life easier. Because you, you break up words no, but very well. But the way I look at it is like dis, ease. Yeah, like but even when he did like, chiropractic, you know, the study of yes, hands. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Your body should be at ease at all times. Mm-hmm. But what's causing your body to be at dis, ease? There's three things I I personally think causes it. There's thoughts, Mm. toxins, and trauma. So where you come in, Mm. when you talk about CMOS, you're talking about toxins, things you ingest. Mm. So like you're eating Burger King all day, Mm. like McDonald's all day. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit there and bash food that eat it because, like, Uh. I mean, if you can afford to go buy all this stuff, like, I mean, you have to live within your means. Mm -hmm. So I totally respect that. don't have any problem with that. But I always tell people, I'm like, if you have a little bit of time, spend the time, you know, mm-hmm. buy the product and cook it because mm-hmm. it'll probably last a couple of days. Mm-hmm. And that way you don't have to buy and eat out every single day. And that toxin that you put in your mm-hmm. body can actually cause you to age and feel sick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where you come in when you say, you know, eat things like, That's yeah, we do CMOS, hey, you got they do with I'm this. Feeling COVID, all that stuff. Flush As it a out. chiropractor, yeah, yeah. I deal more with the trauma. Mm-hmm. And trauma doesn't necessarily mean you get hit by a car. Mm-hmm. Something is out of place. It's not functioning properly. Like when your bone goes out of place and it's not functioning properly, every time you take a step, trauma. it's causing trauma within that joint. So my job is to correct that trauma to take you out of like that disease phase so you can actually heal. Mm. And then you have the thought, which is what we're talking about, the psychosomatic aspect of it. Mm. So Sick. So those are the three so things, in my right. opinion, if you can take care of those three things, you more than likely are going to stay healthy. Do you have a TikTok? I do, but don't ask me the name because I don't remember <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. You would really do so well on TikTok because a lot of people want to learn and understand. And so, they just don't know like how we're sitting here asking you a question. Literally, there are millions of people that want to know, okay. mm-hmm. you know, that don't know, but we need to know and understand. I feel like having a chiropractor should go hand in hand growing up. 